Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the Russell Star Trek channel. Now, I know it's been a bit since the last actual video. Um, and yeah, I, I, I've already done a channel update video and community post so you guys can check out there. Uh, you know, what's been going on. <clears throat> but uh, this was kind of an unexpected one if I have to be completely honest. Um, but I'm <clears throat> I'm glad that I did uh, like I'm able to do this video. So, yeah. So, you may remember about a year ago now at this point, I did a unboxing of the Star Trek the Motion Picture 4K kind of collection or the uh, the complete adventure box set <clears throat> that uh came out around that time and in that video I showed off this guy, the uh Star Trek Universe TOS phaser that came out uh basically around that same time and you know had you know the original playmates box it was basically supposed to be in a or a authentic reproduction of how the original toy was back in god the early 90s probably i want to say 93 or something um and i thought that would be it honestly like they would probably do that and nothing else and then I recently discovered that they actually did uh, not only a line of TOS stuff, um, they also did a uh, some next generation stuff as well. But they also did another TOS thing very similar to the Phaser. And I have it right here. I'm hoping at least this is what it is. Um... I have I have not opened this yet. I legit just got it in like <clears throat> like 10 15 minutes ago. So, yeah, we're going to get into this right now. So, I'm going to make sure I have the right one. But yeah, I if this is what I think it is, I'm actually really excited for this. Let's see if we can just open this up straight up. Okay, yeah, I can. And I, okay. So luckily it is the thing I got or the thing I was uh, okay, I'm gonna put it this way. Um, all right, you ready? All right. So, that off to the side so you guys don't see it. But yes, I have now have the Star Trek TOS communicator. Um, this is something that I've always wanted. Uh, ever since I've become a Star Trek fan, obviously. You know, with this along with the original phaser, which now I already have, and now this. And I am really, really excited to get into this. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, let's just check out the box real quick. This is a really good authentication of how the original box looked in the, uh, in the early 90s. Uh, we obviously got some trimies there, which I'm going to wait to do until this thing's out of the box. Uh, and then we got on the side here, uh, like some of the stuff that it could do. Same on this side. And then on the back, don't mind that. That's just a kind of like a packaging, like, uh, or the, the, it broke, like it's damaged a bit, but I could really care less. Um, so it reads on the back here, on the top here, uh, it says that, which I'm going to read it off. Uh, number one is open the classic communicator. Just grip the bottom and press the open uh, opening activation button to flip open the antenna grid. Uh, which is the, this thing. The kind of like the gold thing right here. And then uh, press the frequency uh, control and communication. That being these two buttons here. Um, to activate the light up emergency indicator. Or the frequency controller indicator with sounds and phrases. And yeah, so we have the, uh, we just basically have, uh, like what it has right here, along with the description of what it is, which I think at this point it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go over that. Um, but yeah, so we have a frequency control indicator, a emergency indicator, uh, and then we have the microphone plate, um, the control button and ship slash away team communications button, a hailing activation button, like a hailing button. Uh, the opening, uh, opening activation button, and then the antenna grid. So, yeah. I'm really excited to get into this. Because, I mean, like I said, I've always wanted one of these as a kid. Um, 
Imagine you probably just get a fast forward or just cut from this. I think I got it actually. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Alright. Put that away. Yeah, let's move. Let's move all this out of the way. Don't need that anymore, actually. Set that right there. Alright. Oh my I can already see it briefly. I think it's gonna I'm trying to figure okay, it's gonna open up like this. So I'm gonna hold it like this, just so that you guys can see it. Oh my god, that's sick. And that's a beefy boy. That is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Um Alright. Oh, that's cool. It even has like a little belt buckle right there. Wow, this is this is awesome to hold him in my hands. Like now I actually have it. Okay. Um and you know, your typical instructions. I'm actually gonna read over this real quick. So okay, so this thing needs AAA batteries, but I think I think it's on already. Or it has some in here. Um, so I'm going to switch it to, actually, I'm going to try this. I, I, obviously you guys can tell I've not touched this thing yet. I haven't tried anything yet. So I'm going to try this. <sighs> That's actually fucking sick. Um, okay. So I think it's off right now. Um, <laughs> that's. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to try and hold up to the mic so you guys can see it. So I'm trying to figure out where... Is the speaker... Okay, okay, I'm going to try this. That's awesome. And then... Wait. Oh, okay. So, okay. I was warned about... Uh, I wasn't necessarily warned about this, but I... When I was doing research about this, I was... I was uh, no, uh, notified, I guess you could say, that... um. The actual hailing button on here, that sound is actually from the Next Generation series and not the original series. But uh, yeah, it's still, that's still hella satisfying to do. Just uh, So obviously there's a button right here which flicks it up. But, I mean, everyone on the show always flicked it up, so you could just do that in time with the button. Just... Oh, my God. And then, yeah, let's try out these buttons here. So, that's the... I forgot what that was. Uh, the control button. So, you can see the little LED there. And then, apparently, this next one is the... Basically, the, the, communi the actual communications itself. Because I think the speaker is actually on the front. So I, oh, it might be through here. So I'm going to try and hold that up. I'll be wrong one. So I, I think it just recycles a whole bunch of phrases Energize. and such. So yeah, that, that is actually really sick. So... And then, yeah, you can just, like, clip it onto, like, your, like, like here, for example, and just have it. Actually, I'm going to try that real quick and see how this works. Or A few minutes later. All right. Yeah. I, I can't do it for the life of me. But there is that option right there, so you can kind of see it. Um, just in case, like, yet yeah, you do decide to want to hang this on your belt, which I think, yeah, that, that's a nice detail that, you know, they included that. Oh, yeah, let me turn it back on real quick. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to get this. Oh, that is satisfying. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I was going to do a joke about that, but really, uh, none of you guys would get it. So, <laughs> it's like, I'm just not even going to bother. But yeah, th this is a, a cool thing to have. Um, this is definitely, though, I would say, uh, for, like, play value. Um, for, like, kids that, you know, 
maybe just start getting into the show and, you know, want to get a toy uh, to kind of, uh, you know, re- like, do, like act out how, you know, Kirk and his crew, you know, did stuff. You know, this is a very cool, like, a very good toy, and I will admit that. Um, but I will say for collectors out there, you might actually just want to go for um, the... I believe it's called the Wan Company. Uh, their version of the communicator it is a way better version. Unfortunately, where it is a way better version than this. I mean, because real quick, that this thing in the middle, it is a sticker, but in the show, that's supposed to be like spinning around and stuff. Um, which in the uh the the version I just mentioned, uh, that did move, and it also actually is a uh, it is a. It is Bluetooth, which means you could actually use that as an actual cell phone, which I think is fucking cool. I might try to pick that up as well uh, at some point. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, final thoughts on the Star Trek community. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, someone just messaged me, sorry. So, what are my final thoughts on the uh, classic Star Trek, or the Star Trek uh universe classic communicator i think this is a really cool novelty item like if you are if <clears throat> excuse me um i'm still kind of losing my voice a bit but it's kind of coming back um if if you are a fan of star trek and want to get like, like something uh like a classic uh tos item that isn't too expensive but still kind of fulfills that uh kind of like itch inside of you I really do think this is a really cool kind of item uh, that you can get and, you know, just kind of play around with. But if you're looking for something a little bit more authentic to the series, go and pick up the Wan Company's version of it. I'm pretty sure you can get it. It's like, it is like a, <clears throat> uh, it is like a high quality kind of a piece of kit. So that will cost you probably around like 150 bucks, I would say. Um, but even then, I think that one goes for a really good deal. But, I mean, yeah, this one only cost me like, like I think right now on Target it's like twenty five bucks right now, or twenty four ninety nine. Um, I think I got uh, the Phaser for probably like tw yeah probably like around twenty, something around there. Um, but yeah, I think honestly this, this is like a really cool kind of like double pack of like cool stuff. You know, you have your Phaser that you just go like, you know, shoot up all the bad guys and stun them, and then you can just go Russell to Enterprise. Forward to beam up, you know. I just wow. So I guess there's like a like a switch in back here somewhere that caused it to, yeah, to activate. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed uh this uh unboxing slash review of the Star Trek Communicator, and I'll see you guys next time. Live long and prosper. Out.